Hello, my name is RJ, and I ordered one of these fancy boxes from To Whom It May Concern as part of their Generate funding. I got box number 88, and on the top of this it has the To Whom It May Concern stamp, but I'm not going to show you that because it's next to my address. So I already opened it, I, I know what's in here, but I wanted to show you guys um, kind of like the actual unboxing process. So when I opened it, got this box, and um, I was a little worried when I got this because I, I just moved. Like this is new. This is a new area. I've been here about two months and uh, splurged on one of these boxes because I kept seeing like the glorious things that were in them. Um, the posters and uh, I really like dogs like my dog is right here <laughs> laying down chilling um, and she kept giving like Polaroids with her dog ghost in them I don't know if Ringo made an appearance and um, someone got like a plushie of like a little dog that looked like ghost so I just thought like decoration for the house and I've already bought so many things because I've been a fan since the beginning so I figured if I got duplicates, like, I could raffle them off to fans or something like that. Just support it. Support my home. Like, burnish it. Get it together. Then <laughs> I get this small box. And I'm like, uh-oh. Like, did she pack a signed barbell shirt in here and call it a day? I need to know. Um, so I... I opened it naturally, and it, it gets smaller. It's smaller. Um, there's only this bag in here. And nothing else, nothing else is there. On the lid, it has the stamp, again, that I can actually show you, and number 88. Um, nothing on here. Nothing on here. And when I pulled this out, I thought, like, you know in the shop, because the shop has evolved a lot. You know in the shop, when they had those necklaces, <laughs> with like the little message in the bottle. I pulled this out and I was like, if I paid $150 for a message in a bottle, uh-uh, uh-uh, no ma'am. So I pulled it out. <laughs> I'm so nervous at this point and uh, to whom my concern is on it again. I'm like, am I getting trolled right now? Like what is going on? Uh... <laughs> I open it, and it gets smaller. It gets so small. It, like, it's just, you know what this is, if you've seen the Instagram of the Twatters or the Facebook. It's a little USB. Nothing special about it. Kind of. Um, it's, it's just a USB. And when you plug in the USB, it uh, says number 88. It's, it's named, and when you open it, um, there's a text file. I'm going to pop it in, and I will read the text file to you. If I can get it in here. I was going to make fun of Lewis, because in Lewis's video, he took like 17,000 years to unwrap that, and now here I am. I told him I was going to make fun of him, too. We love Lewis. Here I am trying to put this USB in, and I can't do it. Uh, hold on. Where are we at? We had three minutes? Alright, it's in. It's in. It's in. We're good. We're good. This is not a message in a bottle. We're good. So, it says number 88. And when you open it, um, uh, box 88, read me, all capital letters. And it says, to whom it may concern, Stockholm, 2019, the 10th of, uh, October. Box 88. Welcome home. All caps for everyone out there is a song written and produced by Yona Lee. Iona Lee. It's all, it's like her solo moniker, what it is today. It is not previously released. You can choose if you want to keep it for yourself or share it with the community in a non-commercial way. Best to whom it may concern. Copyright to whom it may concern. And underneath it is a WAV file. It is uh, two minutes and seven seconds imported on the 30th of November 2018 so I guess that's when the, yeah, that's when the file was created and uh, it's like 33.7 megabytes um, where's my camera okay so 
that's it. I, I got a song that no one has heard before. And um, I'm elated. <laughs> I'm so elated. I, I This is so, like... I've been following I Am Am I Who Am I since, like, the preludes. And um, I was one of the first people to really push it with the blog, with coverage. I had a blog about 2020K, too. Um, I gave away a couple vinyl to fans during giveaways during Bouncy and Kin, I think. And um, I, I just have been following thoroughly, advocating for them since the beginning. Um, so this is, this is, wow. Like, I, I don't know what to say other than thank you. Thank you for not putting a message in a bottle in here and telling me to wear it around my neck. Like it's like a Gucci chain or something. Um, thank you. I was so nervous. This is so much better than a poster. And, um, I mean, not that the poster's not great. And I, I, I give in to him and make concern and Yonali and specifically so much of my wallet <laughs> that I was betting on getting so many duplicates of things that I already have. So this this feels very special. And um, this is my first time generating. Uh, the first time I wanted to generate was when the they were giving away a song called Paramount that you had only like a limited a time, limited amount of time to generate, to like donate. Donating is like synonym for generate, which seemed to be concerned. Uh, it was like $2, you got the track, but after a certain date, you couldn't buy the track anymore. Like you can't get it. Um, fans, I think they were asked not to share it, and, uh, I missed that boat because I was moving in here, so, uh, I, I googled it, I tried to look for it, I mean, I'm such a fan, like, I, I just want to hear it all, and, um, even though I haven't heard Paramount, like, I, I, I genuinely appreciated the fact that they put out a song in, the, like, the digital era, and it was like... That's it. Like, it's a rarity now. You can't get it. Please don't share it. This is yours. If you got it, it's yours. And uh, that's it. It's the same thing with these boxes and, um, like, I, I just genuinely appreciate, like, this is like a very... Well, the song is Welcome Home. Um, it's been in live sets before. Uh, so it's been played live. Like, fans have heard it. It's just not available as a studio recording to anybody. And, um, just like my dog down there. I don't know if that mic picked it up or not. Um, she's sad she didn't get a ghost plushie, but I told her I would get her one at the store and it'll be fine. Uh, anyway, I, I just like this. Like, I make art. I make music under 2020k, and it's, it's so hard for unsigned musicians to... You would think it'd be so easy because of the internet, but it's not. Like, the red tape is still there. The, the value of music is just, like, so low. And um, everyone expects everything for free all the time, and I, I just, I love that this is here, I love that this is in my house. Um, it, it feels like I helped an artist that I really like, and uh, kind of like, I, I just, I'm going to treasure this. I already backed it up in about seven different places. Uh, I made sure not to show you my address on here so you can't come get it from me. Uh, I, I want to keep it for now because, I mean, I'm working class at this point. I basically live paycheck to paycheck to pay, pay this, so it's a lot of money to shell out for like something like this. And it's it's not just like a one of a kind wave file to me. Like music has never been about that. Like I'm a collector, like over here, it, this wall of CDs, if I moved it, is so expansive. I have a very expansive like vinyl collection down there in the uh, living room downstairs. And um, I mean, it's art to me. I make music. It, it, it's it's priceless and um, it, it, it feels like there's like a war hall in my home now like a like a just not even like a screen print that's been screen printed a million times like a one-of-a-kind like war hall type of deal um, so I really I really like this I really like the that it kind of goes along with the statement that Paramount was making that like music does have a value and um you gotta help the artist out at, at the same time i get it from the other end too 
um, I am on the other end. I am a fan. And I, I'm mad I didn't hear Paramount, but um, I, I get it from all angles. And I love that there are artists like this who are like pushing the boundary of um, not only like connecting with their fans in ways that um, a lot of artists haven't before. I haven't seen this done to this extent before. Um, I'm not shaking the USB, it's still connected, I promise. And uh, like people like Imogen Heap, who have continuously continuously pushed the boundary and uh, continue to do it by like trying to make like a blockchain thing for artists and it's called Mycelia, look it up, and um, the Creative Passport as well, this is done by Imogen Heap. Um, just trying to like, there's artists out there who are trying to push it, push it forward and uh, bring it back into the hands of artists so we can keep creating. Um, Estero comes to mind too, who interrupted uh, a new release of hers called Give Me Some Time. And uh, if you listen to it on streaming service, it cuts out like halfway through it. And she's like, if you want to hear this, please like consider buying the record it's on. Um, and I, I just love, I love it. it. It reminds me of stuff that like Prince would do um, if he were still here and what he was doing when he was advocating for the artist, like changing his name to a symbol and everything that came after that. Uh, I add Yona Lee and the whole Two and May Concern crew into that like love of category and I I just really like it. This is a very, from, from a fan perspective and an artist's perspective, this is very precious to me. Um, I'm gonna keep it safe. I'm not gonna shake it too much anymore. I'm gonna, probably gonna get a shadow box and display all this madness in it. <laughs> and I don't know. But um, thank you to Iona for putting this together in the label. Uh, this is great, and I've enjoyed what's been inside most people's boxes thoroughly. Like, I'm, I got this, and I'm still jealous of whoever got that foot. <laughs> Please give me the foot. Uh, but that's it. I, I thought that this would, like, before I popped it in, I thought maybe it would just be stems, because I did a cover of B for uh, an I Am Bounty fan project and have been kind of helping them with a lot of those releases and making sure everything sounds all right along the way and getting the artists what they need and so i was like oh well that's cute like maybe she sent me a stem and she wants like she's like here have at it go remix stuff no one has these but this is which i'd welcome <laughs> but this is top notch top notch gift thank you i cannot thank you enough for the past 10 years of I Knew My, you know, my Music. Um, and this has been on the loop for the past 15, 13 minutes and 9 seconds, so enjoy what you hear, and um, yeah. Bye.